today is National Bunny Day. In fact, International Bunny Day, we just learned Patty Spittler is here, brought to you by Pet Pals TV, along with, well, a lot of bunnies. And Amy Deitchley, she's the president of the Indiana House Rabbit Society and our weekend daybreak producer, who many of you don't know, but he is behind all of our newscasts here, Joseph Viney, in with us this morning to talk about bunnies because, Joseph, you have a special bunny in your life. <laughs> yes, I do. Uh, first of all, thank you to Patty for inviting me on to Pep House TV. Uh, I've known Patty for a few months, and every time we meet, she wants me to bring uh, Lily onto the set. Um, however, she can be a little too skittish. She can be a little frightened of uh, social interaction. So I thought we'd do the next best thing, and I, I brought some pictures along for us to show uh, Let's see on some screen. pictures of Lily. Well, and it'd be hard, too, because, Joseph, you come in oh, overnight. She's... So, oh, she's oh, beautiful. She's a little chunky bunny. Yes, <laughs> she is. But I try not to tell her, uh, tell her that to her face too often. <laughs> it can be bad for a bun's confidence. You're a good You're a good uh, as you can see, she's only about the size of my shoe as well. She's a uh, Netherlands dwarf, um, but I don't think she speaks Dutch that well. Yeah. <laughs> well, she's well cared for, but Aww. that's part of what we want to talk about today, too. House Rabbit Society, Amy's here, and if you have a bunny and you go, well, I'll just release it out in the wild if I don't want any more, that's a, probably a death sentence, right? Yeah, so the domestic bunnies, the ones you find in you know, pet stores or people's houses, um, are actually different species from the cottontails you might find running mm. around. So, and, and as you can tell, then they're a different color, like the big white bunny. Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, this they're kind of easy bunny. pickings for predators and, and that type of thing. Well, so we'd... It's, and it's also um, illegal to you know, split your straight pet free. So. I'm looking at all of them. I mean, there's such a variety, mm -hmm. but as you said, none of these bunnies would do well just living out in the Right, and in here. fact, some of these bunnies were captured um, running stray, including Margot, who's on the end down there with the spots. She's still a teenage bunny. Um, she was thrown out of a car a couple months ago, mm. and she's gotten all healed up now, and we're, she's getting ready to have her space surgery. Um, and then the bunny I'm holding right now is Finn, and he was found stray in Knightstown. Um, but, uh, what kind of bunny is that? He is a lion head, and he's real fluffy. A lion head. Yeah. yeah. And, and it makes sense. He was just hopping name. down the street in Knightstown, oh, um, but he has a lot of medical problems, and so he comes to us to get those fixed, um, and we'll take care of him as long as he needs yeah. that care. And, and something I think uh, that I learned actually from the House Rabbit Society, if you let a bunny go outside, you go, well, they, they can't even mate and make bunnies with the wild rabbits. That's correct. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, which is probably fortunate because there's enough strays already that we don't need more wow. of them. That's true. That's I true. never really thought about, you think of stray cats and dogs, yep, but I never oh, I thought about stray Every bunnies. week we get calls to go catch stray bunnies, usually in the Indianapolis area, but oh. we spend a lot of time going out with fishing nets and X-pens to, to actually capture strays. So in a lot of these cases, is it just owners not caring for them the right way? Yeah, I think that people assume it's a pet that's going to live in a cage mm -hmm. and for a couple years, and they think it's cute when they first get it, and they are very cute. Yeah. Um, but yeah. as soon as a bunny hits puberty they, and outgrows a cage, you can see we've used these puppy exercise pens as mm -hmm. housing, so they have more room, and they're using a litter box, and most people aren't prepared for that. They also live 10 or 12 years, mm -hmm. and you know, if your kid goes off to college and doesn't want a bunny anymore, what's the parent what do you do? Yeah. yeah, I know, Joseph, your bunny kind of roams around your house a bit. Um, yeah, I just hope my uh, landlord's not watching. <laughs> well, <laughs> you do have the bunny proof. But you do give your bunny a good life, and that's a part of the work that you I, guys do. That's here. right. She has a lot of space to herself. Um, I just make sure she's fed and watered and, and talked to a lot. I've had her since December 2020. Um, and at first, um, I kept her in a, in a pen like this, but she spent most of her time pushing the bottom of the pen towards the door. Mm. And then you know, uh, urinating on the floor, <laughs> which I think was a, a sign of protest. Um, so I just opened, I opened the cage doors forever, and um, the, one of the shots I had on the, on the, the video there, uh, you'll see uh, Lily in the doorway. I was upstairs and I mentioned the word vet on the phone, oh, and all of a sudden I just hear and she stood in the doorway with her eyes wide. I think it's coming up in a second. Oh. Well, um, I know we could sit here and talk about these sweet bunnies all day long, but thankfully you're going to have more on Pet Pals TV. Pet Pals TV. Also, uh, House Rabbit Society, contact them if you have any questions. Mm -hmm, uh, yeah. And also, a lot of the bunnies are in foster care, yep, so you know what they're adopting. like and what a good match is. And uh, I thank you for what you do. You're, yeah. You help to inform. I mean, it, this this is not the pit. You are so sweet. This looks like are, a, a bun bun. Bun bun for 10 bugs. years. Aww. He was a good boy. Yeah. So. 
course, I would right now they, wear a lot of black They do clothes, take a lot of so. care as well. <laughs> yeah, um, a lot of care, but you guys help set them up with the rightful absolutely. owners and uh, foster them out and do some great work. Yeah. So, thank oh, you so much. And one more thing, it's National Bunny Year. Is that oh, right, Susan? Yeah, it's the, the year of the Zodiac calendar. It's the year oh, of the rabbit, oh, as well as it. International Bunny Day today. All right, okay. all rabbit. good signs. Uh, of course, Pet Pals TV at 1030 right here on Wish TV. You can go to PetPalsTV.com and... Before that, watch Great Day TV at 10 o'clock. We're going to have a tease for Great Day TV next hour as well. Thank you all so much for coming in. Thank 846 you. right now. Uh, Ryan, I guess it's 847. We're going to keep snuggling with these bunnies. <laughs>